Ahoy fellow Vita comrades and welcome! Today we have very exciting news, so exciting I'm creating this quick video about it, so let's get into it! But first, quick word from our sponsor, the big red subscribe button, click it to grey it out in order to not miss important updates like this one. So to the update, YoYo Loader now features completely rebindable, rebindable? YoYo Loader now features completely rebindable keyboard keys emulation through physical buttons, allowing a lot of games that were having issues with input to be now played correctly. Huge thanks to the Renegatamente for making it happen. This is exactly what we needed, cause as we all know, PS Vita physical controls are a pleasure to interact with. New database of community made key maps for this feature has been also created. If you want to contribute, head over to the link down below. Now, how to make it work. Kato Duyanga has made a guide on how to set it up, it's also down below. It's pretty straightforward, however the biggest issue is of course to identify the keyboard controls used by the desired game. So the step one is to create a text file and rename it into keys.ini, that's pretty easy. Uh, but then step two is to populate this text file with the remapped controls, uh, this one is a bit trickier. In the guide he was remapping controls for Day in the Life of Harpy and he used uh, like circle equals to Z, cross equals to X and then D-pad, left to left, right to right, up up down down. But then when I checked the pre-made file for Super Mario Maker, here uh, cross equals to up, circle to down, square to left and then D-pad equals to WSD on the keyboard. So there is no way to know for sure what equals to what unless you use the trial and error method to find it out. Or in this case they also thought about people like me and they've created the aforementioned database for community made key maps, which means when you're launching games with pre-made key maps you'll get prompted with this message. This game has a community key map available, do you wish to install it? Then you simply press yes and job done. Physical controls are now working with the desired game. I've been trying it with Delta Run for Android and also with Super Mario Maker and both are working very well, no issues at all. Every day I'm impressed more and more by the sheer power that hides deep within the guts of the UL loader. Slowly but for sure it is climbing into the pedestal of essential, crucial, vital, must have PS Vita homebrew apps. Amazing work guys, keep it up! So in the end, what are my final thoughts? I'm absolutely fine with installing the key maps from the database. New key mapping feature and database were launched just yesterday, but there are already key maps available for like 9 games, including Delta Run, Super Mario Maker, Andy Drawing, Dana Life of Harpy, Curse of Vicious, etc. So I'll just wait for smarter guys to figure it out and add more key maps into the database. And in the meantime, I can enjoy some Super Mario Maker with physical controls enabled. Happy days! Two thumbs up! Zawaschak approves! And that would be it for this quick video. Like, subscribe, it's for free. Check all the links down below. Support the channel via super thanks or affiliate links. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Au revoir!